Welcome to the Airborne Podcast. I'm your host, Ajit. There's no big boy Brabs on the podcast tonight or today, but we got Thanos back on the podcast. What it do? We're going crazy with the videos. <laughs> but um, the Raptors finally signed a center and not a forward. I mean, the man is kind of like a, built like a forward, but he was playing center for us for uh, part of the season to save us from the misery of Aaron Baines. Um, but yeah, the Raptors sign. Cam Bridge to a three-year deal. I think it was pretty inevitable going into the offseason. Um, yeah. I think, you know, he, I, I'm sure he could have got more money anywhere else. No, actually, to add on to that point, he was. He, he Other teams were overpaying him, but he chose to stay on the Raptors. So shout out to him for staying on his home team. Well, I mean, even when he got, a, he got waived last year by Orlando and then the Raptors immediately signed him because that's where he wanted mm-hmm. to be. He told us how excited he was to play for his hometown hometown team. Yeah. And um, I think the Raptors had an advantage because of the fact that he doesn't have to go into a new training camp to figure out his role. And, you know, the center position is very wide open for him to, to take. It's basically his to lose. Yeah. And, um, you know, with, you know, Baines, as soon as Cambridge came, Baines was gone. <laughs> he was gone. He got some minutes. He got some minutes here and there at the end of the season because we had too many injuries. But for the most part, um, you know, he did a really good job. And I think he had 17 starts in 19 games with the Raptors, if I'm not mistaken. Was it? Yeah. And uh, he was actually really productive. I mean, you saw him. Like, yeah. The Raptors, the way the Raptors coaching is and the way their system is, they let every player be free and do what they got to do. They never try to control them. Never. They let them loose. And they're like, yo, do your thing. But make sure you make the right plays when you're doing it. Yeah. When you're doing so. And he Larry did. Sorry to sorry to add on to something. Larry did what he had to do. You, you know, he wanted to get the man paid. He got him paid. Yeah, he got him paid, and he, he bounced. He walked out the door. Yeah. And I mean, it's not it's not the crazy amount of money. Three year, twenty yeah. million dollar deal, which is like um, I think mid level exception. He's making like mm-hmm. six seven million a year, and he averaged eleven point nine points, seven point six rebounds, and one point two blocks. And you could see his impact on him, a lot of those games where he started. Yeah. And You know, for him, if he can just work on his three-point shooting a little bit more, that's definitely going to help him, you know, continue to be a valuable piece on this team and even, like, a valuable starter for years to come. For sure. Um, Like you said, a lot of teams are overpaying for him. I think they would have overpaid for him, but he didn't want to leave. Yeah, he wanted to stay on his home team. Makes sense. And he said his mom was happy. Kyle Lowry, I think Kyle Lowry's mom was happy. I think they were Mm -hmm. friends throughout that season. Oh, were they? Yeah. And out of and these are his words. I'm going to read a quote from him. He's like, mm-hmm. it feels like a dream come true. It's so surreal right now. I just, I just can't put it into words. I knew where I wanted to go. I didn't even know what other teams were interested in me. I just wanted to come here regardless of the price or years or anything. So for him, it was about playing for his hometown team, a team he grew up watching. Mm-hmm. And he never cared about the money. He just wanted the. he knew this was a perfect fit for him. The money was a bonus, but, you know, he's a little older there. He's like, what, my age? He's 92. Yeah. But, um, you know, he's about to hit 30 and going into next season, um, or at least by the end of next season. Mm -hmm. Uh, So what what do you think? Like, I know before you, Mm -hmm. no, I'm I'm just saying, like, I've been emphasizing about center problems for, like, almost two years now. It feels like Mm -hmm. it's been so long. And even when, like, the Raptors, when the free agency started and all these centers are dropping like flies and signing with their original teams or going to new teams or, or signing these minimum deals, I'm like, why aren't the Raptors going for them? Like, yeah, no. Andre, Andre Drummond's backing up Joel Embiid. Like, why not go for Andre Drummond? I don't know. Maybe they don't like yeah. him or maybe because they didn't like his... He can't play. stretch the floor, though. Yeah, I, don't, I think they saw what he did for the Lakers and saw that it wasn't going to work. Yeah. But then again, like, I mean, uh, all of our players usually can shoot the three. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get Andre Drummond. Cody Zeller was another player that was out there. Um, you know, Zach Collins could be a small four. I mean, a, a four, but a five. But, you know, he's been hit with injuries. So, but, I mean, San Antonio gave him a $22 million deal for three years. Yeah. That's crazy. 
a lot of centers. I mean, Bismack Biombo is still out there. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought we would have signed Bismack Biombo or something because I don't think Charlotte really needs that guy anymore. Yeah, Cam Bridge is the same age as Bismack Biombo, so I don't see why mm-hmm. we wouldn't sign Bismack. But I guess because he can't stretch the floor, I don't I don't think they want him. Yeah, but he's yeah. a hell of an offensive rebounder though. Yeah, and he fits that six nine mold just like Cam Bridge. <laughs> You know, they're they're smaller bigs, but they can they're mobile enough to, you know, give us an advantage on both ends of the floor. Mm-hmm. But were you happy with the signing, or were you expecting like a Jared Allen, or like what went through your mind? Like you uh, knew this was happening, right? No, I, I already knew Ken Birch was going to get re-signed. Mm-hmm. I just thought that he would be. I actually, I kind of see, I kind of feel Ken Birch as more of a bench uh, player, more so of a starter, starting center. Although he can play, he's been he's been showing something like he's been he's proven that he's a really good player. But I felt like I honestly wanted Jared Allen. I actually thought Jared Allen fits the he actually fits the team really well. I just want to see that athletic, you know, that athletic center that can catch alley oops, dunk it in, you know. Well, Ken Bridge can do that. He's just not as big. No, as he can. He, no, he can. He can. But I just like I don't really feel like um, I don't know. I just I just felt like Allen would have been much better as a starting center but even but although um uh, jared allen re-signed with the cavaliers i actually like the signing like i actually like the fact that Cambridge has stayed with us mm-hmm. he could have literally went somewhere else and got overpaid got a lot more money compared to us but he chose to stay in his, in his hometown which i like about him yeah um and like you said um he needs to work on his threes because last season he did make a few threes but it wasn't as consistent as we thought he would yeah. Um, but the one thing that I really like about Cam Birch the most is the fact of uh, the fact that he's really he's really quick with his feet. Like he can really run compared to other centers. Mm-hmm. Like he's really quick. Um, but overall, it's a good signing. Um, he also said, like, as soon as he got signed, he's mm-hmm. like, Toronto, let's run it back. This is no doubt a dream come true. I'm coming home. Mm-hmm. And I actually, no, sorry, to add on to your point. I actually think. Part the reason why he also resigned with us because it's, be, it's because Boucher is still on our on our team too, right? Like, aren't they both friends? Yeah, I mean they're both yeah from Montreal. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that, I, yeah, I feel like that has something to do with it too. But I'm happy for him. He got he got he got money. Yeah, they gotta they gotta pick up Boucher's contract too. Yeah, um, but with this signing, I think um, you know. You were saying, like, um, in terms of his shooting, it wasn't that great. Mm. But I think, I mean, he just came into the in, onto our team like in the middle of the middle of the season, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. So, yeah. like, I mean, if you give him a full training camp and you let him work on that three, because now he knows he's like Orlando mm-hmm. never let him shoot the three like that. Mm-hmm. So when he came to the Raptors, you know, he started shooting yeah. threes, and then now he knows what he has to improve on. To mm-hmm. help our team get better, and I'm sure that this off season he's going to work on that three point shooting. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm not discrediting him for anything for what he's done done last season. He did he did terrific last season. Like, um, but I I just I just want to see some more improvement going on to the next season. Yeah, and uh, I can I'm sure I'm sure he'll improve. I, I was going to say like, do you think he guarantees? Like I know I said this earlier, where I'm sure it's his like position to lose in the starting role as a starting center for our team. But between him and Precious Achua, who would you like to start at the center position? Um, at the moment, I, I don't know how Precious how Precious plays. I need to see more. I need to see how he plays in the beginning of the season. Um, but right now, I think Cambridge fits the starting, starting role. But maybe down the line, depending on how each other, how well each, each of them play, I mean... We'll see how it goes. But honestly, right now, I think Cam Birch fits the, the starting role. Yeah, I think Cam Birch is a couple inches taller, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Precious, Precious Achua reminds me of like a Montrez Herald. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. But I think for him, like I've seen his highlights. And I mean, mm-hmm. this is his second year. Like you yeah. know, he, he was drafted last year. The Raptors had their eye on him uh, when they were drafting Malachi Flynn, but he went too early. So yeah. they drafted Malachi Flynn at 29 and Precious Achua Precious, went at 20. But um, for the most part, I've seen his highlights. And I mean, he, he looks like he can, he puts in work against Joel Embiid and all those yeah. guys. Yeah. I don't think he had that much uh, 
that that great of a role in uh, Miami because of Bam and the other guys. I didn't really think he really. I didn't think he was able to uh, showcase his skills. Yeah. Although he had a few games, like I think he had a, I think he had like one thirty point game, but I don't know if uh, Bam was playing that game. No, I think Bam or some of them. I think they were injured or health and safety protocols. Something like. Yeah. That. Um. Yeah. One thing I did want to say was, I mean, Pascal's gonna be out for a bit, so it's either gonna be it's either gonna be Scotty Barnes, or Precious Achua is gonna go into that four spot or the three spot. Yeah. I think they're gonna leave OG at the three, and I think one of those two, the, either the rookie Scotty Barnes. Or Precious Achua is going to be um, playing that four until Pascal yeah. comes back in the starting role. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm excited about this um, center position. Obviously, it's finally filled. It was an, it was obviously it was obviously in the air. Um, it was a question, um, even though we were pretty sure Cambridge was going to come back because he loved the fit with us. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't know. I just I just felt like even throughout the season, when you saw him against like Joel and Beat and stuff, he looked so small. And I just yeah. wanted a bigger center just to have mm. there. Like a DeMarcus cousin size center just to be with us, just so that in those matchups we can, you know, handle our own. You know, you know who I, I saw, like, um, so I was thinking about the Raptors. Like, I don't know what, what pick he went in, but, um, you know, Jalen Smith? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, he went to the – he's on the Suns now, right? Yeah. I don't know what – did he go the first round? He was the fourth pick. Huh? Was he the fourth? Was he the fourth pick last season? No, no, no. I'm talking about the this the draft that just happened right now. Like, oh, um, is it J- Jalen Smith? Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith. Um, he's a center. Um, I swear this drafted a Jalen last season. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, it was last season. Oh, why? Why is it? Why does it feel like you? I'm so yeah, confused. He was a, he was a fourth. Yeah. Pick. He, no, he got drafted first round, tenth pick. Oh, tenth pick. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh wow, okay, never mind. Because I just started seeing his highlights now, like on Instagram and stuff, and I'm like, why are they posting it now? Like, I don't understand. He was a, really uh he was a pretty disappoint oh. he was a disappointment for them as a 10th pick last year, I think. Mm. I I don't remember him doing much, but yeah. well, what about what about him? He he's like the type of like the build, like the type of build he has, he kind of seems like a like a a center like a beat. I seen highlights, like he's really athletic. Mm-hmm. He can he can rebound. I think he can shoot from what I saw. Like, I feel like Jalen Smith, like, uh, I think he needs a better role. Um, I heard the Spurs want to sign him. Like, they want to do – I think the DeMar, the DeMar DeRozan trade, I think they wanted uh, Jalen Smith from Phoenix. Yeah. And uh, I, I think he would fit well with that team. But I just – I don't know. It just it just came up in my mind. That's that, all. Didn't, that didn't happen, though. Jalen Smith – No, it didn't happen. They haven't they haven't made the trade official yet. They, they're still figuring it out because uh, I think the Suns want Thaddeus Young. So they're still figuring it out, but J- Jalen Smith, uh, you were looking for his height. He's 6'10, 215 pounds. Oh, okay, okay. But um, yeah, I mean, Cambridge for the Raptors, I think it's a good signing. Hopefully, um, you yeah. know, with the full season with the Raptors, um, you know, him and Fred Van Vliet obviously need to build some more chemistry. You know, a yeah, lot of people I mean, a lot of people were in and out of the out of the lineup last year. Last yeah. Time. So hopefully our fingers crossed our whole team can stay healthy and we can make a push. Um, I want to I want to see Siakam and Thing play Scotty Barnes. I I mean all our key to winning most games is going to be defense based on what we have in length. From what that's we have, our, yeah, that's our calling card for the season. We can tell. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have a lot of shooting, but hopefully all the guys we have have improved on their three point shooting. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Cambridge hopefully three point he becomes. Who knows? Maybe yeah, he, can, he can start shooting. No, three Maybe you can start shooting threes like Steph Curry. Who knows? No, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I think I think he can do what Marcus was supposed to do mm-hmm. um, before um, before he left. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I can see why Masai and Bobby Webster like they didn't do much in free agency because I mean now looking at how the ro- roster looks, we have a lot of players. I just didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. And Cambridge, I mean, as much as we could have went out and paid extra money for these centers. I think they're looking at the bigger picture and they're saying, what can we do? Uh, how can we spend the minimal, like the least amount of money? How can we spend the least amount of money and still have, uh, and these players can still have that same impact instead of paying someone that much more. Yeah. Like, you know, instead of paying Jared Allen, like 20, 25 million per year to have the services here in Toronto, pay Cambridge six, 7 million to do the same, if not more, mm-hmm. because he took a, you know, a hometown discount to come back with the Raptors. So, yeah, 
we'll see how the season goes. Um, I'm excited. Cambridge, well, welcome back. Thank you, Orlando Magic, for giving us a second player for absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, but what's it called? The the free agent uh, next season, next year is free agent class is a thing, right? Stack, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so maybe that's why Masai and Thing haven't really done anything yet, but we'll see. The way I said that line right now, I thought it was in a, for a second, I thought it was Conor McGregor. When he's like, you know, after he won the championship, uh, the second belt against Eddie Alvarez, mm -hmm. he's like, I'd like to take this time to thank absolutely nobody. <laughs> but I got to thank Orlando Magic because, you know, Serge Ibaka for Terrence Ross, respects, and throwing away Cambridge to the side for us to pick up for nothing, for absolutely nothing, respects. And, um, yeah, that's going to do it for, for now. Any final thoughts about the signing? I'm not... I, I know I know it kind of seems like I'm I'm hating on Ken Birch, but I'm really not. Like I actually love the guy. I, he's gonna kill it on our team, but I just felt like I just felt like he doesn't like like what you said about Embiid. Like like he's too he's not he's not as big as Embiid. So like like Embiid can dominate him, right? Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I mean I'm the happy way, with the signing. I mean, the way our our defensive schemes are, we always double team people that we can't handle. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I do like. I mean, the best case scenario. Is having Cam Birch as our backup center? That'd be absolutely crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy. That's what I want. That's what yeah. that's what I'm hoping. Because for. I think like he could play that backup role so well, and we can get a better center. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the time being, we can we have him for three yeah. years. Right? Yeah, we can always find somebody afterwards if it's necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, but for right now, I can't complain. Or actually, him. well, even who knows? Maybe Precious might come out and surprise everyone. Right? He's a natural. Power, he's a natural power forward. That's the thing. I don't know. Oh. Like, he's kind of undersized. I mean, he could play the center position for a few minutes, but mm -hmm. for the most part, like, he's a great rebounder. But I think yeah, yeah. I, I need to see him play defense against those bigs, yeah. like Joel Embiid and stuff. But we'll see. Cambridge, like I said, we're not haters. We love him. Welcome back. And, um, yeah, that's going to do it. Any, any final thoughts? Any final thoughts? All right. Well, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um, if you haven't liked the video and you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to it. What are y'all waiting for? Stop slacking, bro. And uh, we're going to keep coming out with some more videos because uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of news around the NBA, but the Raptors are a little quiet. But hopefully, fingers crossed that hey, they do a little bit more work. <laughs> and, um, please, for the love of God, have, them, have the NBA back ASAP because I miss the Toronto Raptors so much. This is the longest we've gone without Raptors basketball in like, what six five six years seven years yeah like usually they're they play up to the second round and then yeah. you know most case um scenarios they're, they're always in the second round but um you know last couple of years at least 2019 they went all the way so that was some long ass basketball yeah. we got I wish, to I wish we can go back to that again i know um but yeah till then stay blessed stay woke and please stay safe peace Yeah, 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 yeah